Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Season 3 of Tarek Time. I just want to say a huge thank you again to everybody for all your amazing support lately. We are very close to 5k at the time of me currently recording this. By the time you see this episode, you're probably going to be laughing because it's going to be over 5k. So, thank you. Thank you so very much. I really do appreciate all of your kind words in the comments, your likes, and your subs. It truly means oh so very much to me. In the last episode, we made that fantastic little house up on the cliff with that little bridge going all the way across. And in this episode, ooh, that looks painful. I, I want to get some residence for that house, which I think I'm going to have to backtrack. I had to go back and actually look at my first episode to see roughly where that acacia village was. And I have been able to go find it again, so we will be able to go get some residence for this one. On our way over to the Acacia Village, I do want to talk a little bit about future plans for the world. So, I do want to bring two farming villagers over. Just two. Um, just because my crops are over at the main starter base for now, I want to have an ability to be able to start making some emeralds so I can start working on getting mending books. Just because mending is just such a huge part. Um, but I don't want to make a full-blown trading hall over at my base i want to have reasons to go build in other areas of the world so i'm kind of coming trying to come up with an idea on what i could build for a kind of villager trading hall so i i don't necessarily want to just have i am getting so lost we're just going to turn around okay whoop i would like to build Kind of like a villager outpost where I will have the mending villagers and whatnot, but also it gives me an excuse to go build in potentially a different style. I don't know what that a different style is yet, but it's just an excuse to go do something differently. So for now, I think I'm just going to go over to the Acacia Village, try and grab two villagers, hopefully there's two to spare, um, and bring them home and maybe set up a couple of crops. So I brought some some seeds and carrots and potatoes and whatnot just to kind of get myself started over there. But it's just something fun to do. So I'm going to go work on getting that situated and started and hopefully we can snag two villagers and bring them home. And here is that little village. Now if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure I locked a couple of villagers in, although I don't see anybody in that one. Which is a little strange. Or did... Hmm. Okay, there's nobody there. I don't know why I blocked that off. Yep, definitely nobody there. Um, as long as there's still two here, it sounds like there's one in here. Yeah, there's there's definitely one in there. Yep, there he is. All right. There's one in this house here. So right now I've got. Th Three villagers accounted for. I'm really hoping there's another one. Is there one over there? There's one over there. So I've got one, two. Okay, cool. I don't actually need to do any breeding right now, which is kind of nice. So I can just kind of dump some of these goodies off for future plans and projects. And I did bring enough carrots just in case I did have to uh, do any breeding in order to take a villager home today, but. So I've captured him and slept to protect him, but now I have the daunting task of bringing villagers back. I think it's about 2,000 blocks. It's a, it's, it's a little much. It's a little much. One thing I haven't thought of is how am I going to get the villager way up there? Um, I think... I think I have enough rails. I think I've collected enough rails from the mine shaft to be able to pull this off. Let me go check. Ah, perfect. This should work just fine. And I'm going to take them all because, well, why not? And then a couple stacks of dirt. All right. Let's go make a roller coaster real quick. Okay. I'm going to want the roller coaster to come in right here. I'm going to do the old water trick. And work my way down here. But right now it looks like a world's worst water slide, but I'm going to go fix that. And while this is nighttime, I'm going to try and take advantage of the villager 
AI. I needed I need to bring two minecarts. Whoop. Whoops. Come on. Can thank you. Okay. Don't hit the villager. I just need you to uh I need you to want to go into the bed. Okay, you're you are struggling there. Come on. Into the minecart. You can do it. You can do it. Yay. Okay. Um sleepy time. And I need another minecart for a furnace minecart. Furnace minecart acquired and boop. Oh, those things furnace minecarts. So underrated. Alrighty. Villager one. Safe and sound in their new home. I'm just gonna do a temporary block off here. And I'm gonna go get back another like 2,000 blocks for a second one. Yay. Okay, we are all finally set up at home. And I'm doing a little trick here where if you don't know, you can actually install a door like open. So normally you would install it this way. So if you look on the right hand side of your screen, you'll see open as true, which means a zombie will try and break the door when it's closed. But if you stand in your doorway sideways, that is now a closed door, and that is now an open door. So if a zombie comes here, they won't know how to get through this door, which is going to be kind of particular in making sure these two are kept alive. And then for now, I am going to just uh, block this off so we can have a little bit of time to ourselves because, well, I was actually reading some of my comments on my way back with uh, Mr. Villager number two, and they suggested using a fisherman to trade the copious amounts of string I have, which I think is brilliant. So thank you so very much for the suggestion. I am now going to work on getting these two set up to be a carrot and potato, and eventually you need to give up uh, the cartography table. I'm gonna put it down just so you can find it and lose it. Okay, well, wish me luck. Well, string didn't take long, so perfect. I now have my first three emeralds, and you are now a fisherman. And you are still a cartographer, which is a problem. I need you to stop being a cartographer. You were traded with. He was... Um... You are always going to be a cartographer. So I guess we have a cartographer up in here, but thankfully we have two villagers. So I'm going to go grab some beds and carrots and we're going to, we're going to make a third villager and I'm going to clean up the roller coaster. I'm racking my brain. When did I trade with a cartographer villager? I must have done it like first episode, not realizing maybe. I don't know, but seriously dampering plans and I need some other stuff. Hang on. That was close. I need some carrots. Okay, I have a couple of beds, so we're just gonna do this. And then here, have all of the carrots you could ever want and make an offspring. Okay, hopefully I have collected everything this time. And yes, I'm showing off my fancy new path from the last episode that I still really like. And I keep forgetting to grab a little bit of brick for in here, but that's okay. You think they made a baby already? Like, we gave them the privacy that they deserve. But have they made the baby? Oh, you really want to get out. Hmm. <gasps> I hear baby noises. Um, I need to get in and you not to get out. So we're going to do that. There you go. Can't get out now. Haha. -ha. Okay. <gasps> There's a baby. Woohoo! So the baby can still technically get out right now, but um, the adults won't be able to. They will hit their head on the trap door here, and they will not be able to open and close the door. Um, that's a problem. The, the baby can mess with the door right now. Okay. Um, things are working. Kind of. I put away my composter. I'm going to be right back again, and I can't get out either. We are all set. We have our fishermen locked in, ready to go. We have a cartographer, which we could do 
you won't breed. It's fine. They don't have enough pets. Um, we could do something with the cartographer later. Like we could level them up and then we could get the maps for the ocean monument and the mansion and things like that and potentially go do some future exploring. So this actually works out really well. I just, I just need the, the little mini me here to um, grow up and become a wonderful farmer so we can start trading. But in the meantime, I am going to go start collecting more string from the farm. So I will come back when I have an inventory full of string. Many, many hours later, I now have a chest and a bit of string. I've moved all my produce up here. And I've been able to secure this young villager to be carrots and potatoes. So I am perfectly set up. And now I am going to do a whole bunch of trading and try and get some emeralds so we can head back a couple thousand blocks to see another villager to get mending. Hopefully a bunch of times so I can start uh, repairing my tools and not have to worry about the breaking. So wish me luck. Oh my goodness. It's finally cheaper than 45 something emeralds. I'm just going to buy them all. I'm, I'm accepting of my fate right now, and if you don't believe me, here in the stats, um, times used... Do, 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 do. I had to re-roll that 378 times. 378 times. I got so tired of him running away, I boxed us both in. You good now? Um, I have enough? I have lots. I have lots. I'm gonna... Eh, no, I'm gonna... I'm, I'm good. I don't want to... Um, sorry. Distractions. I don't want to be overly dependent hello, on villagers for enchanting, but mending is one of those things that you just need from a villager, so I don't think we're gonna do, like, a full-blown trading hall for... Oop. Ooh. Uh... Sorry. A full-blown trading hall for enchantments, but some of those staples like mending, definitely going to be using it for that. So I'm going to head home and start putting this wonderful mending on all of my stuff. And with that, I now have mending on everything. And I've even gone ahead and made a diamond pick and another sword just uh, in case, and put some mending on some fire protection legs. And I got another mending left over. So that is fantastic. I'm just gonna put that there, put all of our gear back on, ooh, and just put the extra biddies in here. Awesome. Milo, your, 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 your butt's blocking the door. Thank you. Ooh, it's night. And now that we are all geared up and ready to go and much less worried about our tools breaking. I still have to go repair a few things, but that's okay. But for now, I, I don't want to leave this episode as just a very villager-heavy episode. I, I know it was a lot, but it needed to be done, and now we're much better off, and we won't need to do that again for a while. So I'm not going to be doing a big building project, but I do want to work a little bit on expanding what's going on down here in the mines. So I want to start having some more kind of pathways. So playing off a little bit what natural Minecraft generation does, but then of course adding my own little uh, spin and flair. So let me kind of quickly figure out uh, some rough outlines here and then we'll talk about some stuff here. Okay, I think I've figured out what I want to do. So for starters, I'm gonna need a post here. Do, 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 do. Like so, because we are going to be expanding in this direction, like this. So this, blah, 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 this platform is going to work its way over to here, kind of that wall there, so we can do some future projects in that little area, and. Here, this is going to be expanding over towards that kind of cliff wall there. So then I can work on getting some type of staircase down to that granite blob, which is where our kind of mine shaft entrance is. Because I'm tired of going down this little higgledy-piddly thing to there. I, I want something nicer. 
I, I feel like I deserve something a little bit nicer to go down to the mines. So I will just work on getting a little bit of this put in and work on some spacing for some of these posts real quick here. Okay, so starting off with a little bit of a larger platform here, and then I think I'm kind of running out of room to put supports down there because it's getting uh, it's getting a little a little close to the edge. So I think I'm gonna have to. I either need to hang it from the ceiling, which I kind of don't want to do with chain like that because that that doesn't look very strong. That like that bridge would be swaying, and I yeah no not 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 good. So, I'm either going to have to bust out, like, a, a grindstone chain, but that is a floating patch of gravel, so I don't really want to touch that. So maybe we, we bump things back over onto this side and then kind of work our way around a little bit, maybe, I think? Not sure. Not sure. Let me, let me play an experiment a little bit more here and kind of hopefully come up with something that looks all right. I like how that works, so yeah. Just kind of splitting this larger platform in half, bumping everything over to the left. So that means I can continue going on this way here. And hopefully I don't run out of slabs again. Okay, I'm trying a little bit from the ceiling as well because the it was getting to be really long posts there. And then if we use the free camera a little bit, maybe... Maybe a little bit of a cross brace is needed there. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I know I do want to start working on some stairs kind of coming over and down, but I want that to look almost a little bit rickety-ish, maybe? No, well, maybe not. No, this is, this is a pretty permanent structure. It wouldn't be looking rickety. Rickety would be, you know, down there where it's mob infested. So, um... I think that water needs to go. I'm going to get rid of that and probably grab a few things just to try and figure out some stairs here. I kind of want this like landing to just come out a little bit. Kind of like this and then we can go down there and hopefully over and end up kind of close to that. So yeah, you need to go Mr. Water. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're fine. Everything's fine. Okay. I may have sort of kind of gotten carried away a little bit. Um, yeah. I have been trying out a few different things. So I've got a little bit of a beam coming down from the ceiling, which I think I'm actually going to change over to the grindstone chain effect, because I like that a lot more. Um, well, maybe not. Maybe a combination's kind of better. Maybe it's better. And then I, I kind of started working on getting some staircases and a little platform and another little staircase down to here. So now uh, I, I, just, I just need to finish whoops, putting this in on the stairs and just a little bit of something to go down there. And uh, yeah, maybe a little, a little bit of a safety rail here. But yeah, I, I really like how this is, this is turning out and it's going to make coming, coming down to the mines just oh so much nicer so much very nicer that just looks so much better just having that little path running all the way down here i've done a little bit of a, a wood integration with the spruce slabs into the ground here kind of breaking that up a little bit which i really like the the the, the mine shaft itself eh, still could use some partying you know like a little stone archway or something of that kind you know maybe make it a little look a little dwarven maybe but yeah, coming along here, I really like how this feels now. This is so much cooler. So much cooler. And unfortunately, no, I haven't done this section yet because I I haven't figured out all the plans I want to do in this side here yet. So for now, I'm just going to leave this as is and we can work on that a little bit later. So yeah, I'm thinking like a little dock with a little little mini ship kind of thing something of that nature you know something that's pulled into the click cave a little bit here and is docked there i thought that would be kind of cool just not not 100 percent sure yet so but folks i am definitely out of time now for this episode 
thank you so very much for coming along. I truly do appreciate it. Um, I, I honestly can't keep up with you. Um, I, I wanted to try and do something like a bonus episode for hitting milestones, and every time I try, everybody just blows it out of the water, and I'm always behind. So unfortunately, um, I, I am going to have to put my, my health a little bit on the line here and make sure that I... I'm giving myself the time to finish getting better. Um, so unfortunately, no, I won't be doing a bonus episode for 5,000, but I, I am currently planning something for a little bit of a bigger milestone celebration potentially later down the line. But thank you so very much for all your support, your subs, your likes, your comments. I, I truly do appreciate them. I read every single comment, whether I, I get a chance to respond to all of them. It is, it is a lot for me right now, but... Just know that I, I do see you and I do appreciate you sharing your time with me. It truly is appreciated. So until next time, folks, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs>